Food poverty and food banks is a real hot topic at the moment. And here in the northeast of England, the local Baptist church and their local primary school has formed a partnership to do something about this. Yeah, we were approached by the local administrator of our food bank. We're a, we're a distribution point for Middlesbrough Food Bank. Um, just saying that they've got a little pot of money and they're looking to uh, bridge a gap that they've seen. There's a lot of uh, uh, children in, a, in our area that take free school meals from a local primary school. Uh, and there's a worry of how are they going to get uh, fed through the school holidays because a lot of families are relying on uh, the schools to provide breakfast and lunch and then they just have to provide for the evening meal. So the summer holidays, obviously, that, that's a big issue. And so the, the idea of the lunchbox came about um, every Monday, every Wednesday, every fr Friday through the, uh, through the five weeks of the school holidays. Church is opened up. Uh, we have 66 children referred to us from the, the local primary school. Uh, when they first arrive, they're, they're, there's a whole range of uh, lunch boxes that they can pick out. They choose a sandwich filling, and then they can stay for up to an hour. We've, we've got all kinds of activities. We've got craft, we've got games, we've got face painting, all kinds of things that, that the uh, children can, can come to be part of. Um, parents are uh, encouraged to stay, have a cup of tea, just, just chat during that. And then uh, when they're ready to leave, pick up the sandwich, get a, a, a bag of crisps, a piece of fruit, a, a cereal bar, a juice drink. Away they go, bring their lunchbox back the, uh, the Wednesday or the Friday. We'll refill it again and again and again. So hopefully over, this, uh, over the summer holidays, 15 times, we'll, we'll give each child uh, a free packed lunch, which hopefully will help uh, bridge the gap. It's been going great because obviously the interaction with the kids, it's amazing because obviously I'm a teenager myself, so the interaction you get is like really good. And we've been getting like 14, 15 kids, which is good to see like families come in and just chatting to you and just being involved in it. And as a pastor of a church, what does it mean to you to be able to be involved in your local community in this way? Yeah, um, it's, it's been really exciting. I've only been here about 16, 17 months, so just still starting to, to, to get to know people in the local community, and it's been uh, a real eye-opener for me. It's been good to, to get to know a few folks that I'd not met before, uh, and it's, it's had a really good impact on our church. It's something that the whole church has managed to, uh, to get behind. It's, it's not that this is something that a few people are, are wanting to get involved in. I, I'm literally having to turn people away, saying we've got enough volunteers this time. Uh, maybe can you come back another day so, so that's a, a good feeling that the whole church is behind it it's part of me that is that is distressed I think I think it's it's a real uh, problem here and, and I think it's 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 a shame that it is such an issue you know that there's a there's a real issue both locally and nationally I think you know this this gap people are struggling to feed themselves struggling to feed their families something needs to be done you know this is this is just a, a small project a simple project it's the first time we've ever done it so we're still feeling our way into it and, and, and learning from our mistakes but something needs to be done and, and we feel like we're, we're just offering a little bit of help